ADA is soaring and people are saying it's the next Solana. In this video, we're going over Cadena and what it does and why it's going crazy with my price analysis and predictions. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Ben. I've made over six figures trading crypto. I'm on a journey to 10K a month of passive income and I want you to join me on this journey. First, I wanna thank Unique A-Man for suggesting I do a video on this. Also, thank you all for voting and this received the most votes. Cadena has been called the next Solana and also I've heard the terms the Bitcoin and Ethereum killer and it's been absolutely growing like crazy in the past two months. It soared over 26x in the last 60 days and came down a little bit to around $16 and then now it's at about $24 at the time of this recording. So I decided to go through and look through their website, what they do and everything and watching other people's opinions and already looking through their website and their white paper, I'm seeing great things about this project. So this is a proof of work project, whereas most of the crypto space is moving from proof of work to proof of stake. Proof of work is essentially mining, just like with Bitcoin to get the supply release. And for Cadena, a lot of the supply isn't out in circulation, but with this mining, it'll come out in the circulation pretty quickly. And that's something to keep in mind when we look at this. So here on CoinMarketCap, you can see that only 16% of the supply is out in circulation. So the market cap is 3.8 billion right now, but the fully diluted market cap is almost 25 billion. So that's something to keep in mind when, we're, when it comes to the price predictions and where this coin can go. So the volume is about 300 million. When I'm looking for volume, I'm looking between two and 5%. If you take 280 million divided by 3.8 billion, you're gonna get roughly like seven or 8%. So it's above that two to 5% that I'm looking for. And I do this for all the projects that I look into. I wanna see good trading volume because that means the coin is active and that it's being traded a lot. And that means there's a lot of people that are interested in it. And this is really good volume, especially for the fact that it is only listed on, the only big exchange that I see it listed on are KuCoin and also Bittrex. So that means it hasn't been listed on any big exchanges like Coinbase or Binance or Kraken or any of these other ones. So once that happens, more volume will come in and I'm sure the supply will also increase as well. So the things that they're trying to accomplish from looking at their website are safer smart contracts, no cost transactions, energy efficient at scale, proven security, and industrial scalability. Basically they're trying to compete with other cryptos and have the cheapest fees and have their own blockchain. And it went from using 10 chains to about 20 chains. This is to increase the amount of transactions they could do every time. So that's a basic rundown of the things that they're trying to accomplish. And if we scroll down more, we can see all their partnerships. They are partnered with Polkadot, Celo, Cosmos, Terra Luna, Ledger, and much more. And their founders came from JP Morgan. They aren't listed on any big exchanges, like I said before. They're just on KuCoin and Bittrex. But I could see a potential Coinbase and Binance listing in the future for this project. So now for my favorite part of the analysis, the numbers. Let's look at the trading charts. For the trading volume, when I look at these projects and seeing it around seven to eight percent is a really good sign. And how to get that is you just take the trading volume divided by the market cap to get an idea if it's being traded a lot and has good volume. So just two months ago, about 60 days ago, it was trading around 90 cents. And two months later, it's hit a high of about 24 to $25. And that's been an increase of 2,600% or a 26X in two months. And I remember seeing Solana at 30 bucks or so and thought it had already increased so much this year with a 15X, so it probably would just cool off from there. So I'll show you the Solana chart. So it went from like two, a dollar, two bucks, all the way to 20 to 30. And I was like 20 to 30. And even right here earlier, it was between 20 and 30. I was thinking that it has already gone up so much this year that it might need to cool off for a bit. But I was completely wrong because it shot up all the way to about $80, stayed there for a couple of days, shot up to over 180, almost $200, and then now is over $200. So you never know what these coins can do, even with the logic where the mathematical standpoint and rational thing would be to expect a cool off period, but that was not the case at all for Solana and could quite frankly be the same for Cadena. So with my logical way of thinking, I personally do think it would be a good idea to wait to get a good buy, good entry point. And so what I would look for on this is I would look, I'm on the daily chart on KuCoin. I would look for it to come back down to this EMA. I wanna see it come down to the 21 and hit this. So right now it's at around $11. By the time it does come down and hit this, it might be at like $15 but I would wait until it comes down and hits this to bounce off of it for a good buying opportunity. So it may even be higher than it is right now when you see that good buying opportunity, but it's just a much better way to buy when you're catching it off of the EMAs and bounces off of that. It'll look much better. It'll probably be below the RSI and just look way better overall as a good buy. And then I also look at these 
candles right here between seven and twelve dollars and those might be a good range as well because it stayed around here a couple days so that means it had some resistance so now if it came back down to test those those would be good support levels and as far as price predictions for the future, I can see it being added to bigger exchanges like Coinbase and Binance will bring in more volume and make it available to more people, which could really help it for future gains. What do you think of Cadena? Do you own any? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to leave questions in the comments that you want me to answer at the end of my future videos. And thank you so much for watching. And remember, as always, keep it in the green.